Mia, just so you know, when I saw you at the daycare today, you didn't say hello. What? Sorry, I was in a hurry. That's not an excuse. That's very rude. Don't do it again. I said I was sorry. What's the problem? We see each other every day. Sometimes you just forget and I don't say anything about it. I didn't ask all of that. Anyways, I heard you only graduated from high school. Wait, it doesn't matter if you only have a high school diploma now, right? No, it's still relevant. You're a high school graduate with no higher education. You don't have more than me. So, you have no right to be rude. I don't know about that. I don't think education has anything to do with that. There it is, another excuse. Stop it. You know, I'm the boss mama around here. Yeah. Yeah, now that you say that, I've heard that once before. But I'm not sure what it means. Uh, so I don't pay too much attention to it. Oh, if you don't know what it means, I'll tell you. I'm very popular. My husband is with that line theater company. He's the president. So, I'm known as the president's wife. What? The line theater company? That's right. See, you know them. It's a big company. I just didn't know you were all. OMG, I was shocked to say it. I wonder if I can even type it. I really don't have a choice, huh? Line Theater Company is a big deal. And, and with you being a high school graduate, it's a company you'll never be associated with. If you say so. Huh? What's with that response? You have nothing else to say. No, it's not that. I didn't mean to respond like that, it's just... No, you did. What the hell is wrong with you? I know a lowlife like you couldn't even compare to comprehend the greatness of the Line Theater Company. Just admit it. Hey now, please calm down. It's true that the Line Theater Company is a big company, but it's your husband that's amazing. You're not that amazing. What? You're just a freeloader, and I think you should stop pretending. Don't be silly. You're so rude to your boss, Mama. Now say it. I'm already angry. I'm going to make your life hell until you do. Make my life hell? I'll tell the other moms if you don't do something. They'll do it. They'll ignore you as well. I'm going to make them bully you. How does that sound? It's a perfect plan, right? Now hold on. Is this some kind of joke? Please don't do that. Oh, I won't stop. You're trying to punish me for being cocky. You better brace yourself. What? I don't care what happens. Well, how does it feel to be ignored by everyone? That's what happens when a high school graduate crosses me. The boss's wife. I'm gonna make your daughter a target too. I can't wait to see you after daycare. Well, we cease all business with your husband's company. What? Didn't I tell you? I don't care what happens, but if you got to know me properly, you would know who you were messing with. Now wait a minute. What do you mean, cease all business with my husband's company? What the hell are you talking about? I have a pretty big deal with your husband's company. I'm the president of a company that has a very large contract with your husband's company. What the hell? You're a president? That's impossible. You've only graduated high school. You just think that because I only graduated high school that I couldn't start my own company? That can't be true, right? I actually can do anything anyone else can. I used to only do simple jobs that anyone could do, but then I decided I couldn't go on like that. So I read a few books on how to start a business and here I am. I built my business from the ground up. You've got to be kidding me. It's not that easy. This has to be a lie. I'm the boss mama and you're trying to play with me. You're just saying nonsense to throw me off. The boss mama. If that's what you want to think, why don't you just check with your husband now? Okay, watch me. You'll regret this, I promise. Lying to me. So I talked to my husband and it seems what you said was true. He's rather upset. Line Theater Company does most of its business with us. So if they stopped doing business with us, they would be in a lot of trouble. 
We're talking about bankruptcy level. Bankruptcy? That has to be a lie. If you let this happen to us, our lives will be ruined. You're gonna ruin our lives. You think you can do that? Well, it's your fault. It's always bullying the other moms. You ordered the other moms to bully me. And you're doing it to my daughter as well. You also said you were going to harm my daughter. How can I forgive you for that? Bullying someone is not going to bankrupt the company. This is a simple prank. This prank can't be this serious that it could bankrupt our company, right? The level of damage would be too great. Well, yes, but the thing is, it's not about me getting back at you. What? What are you talking about? Actually, the other moms asked me to do this for them since, since you're also treating them bad. They thought if you ever treated me the same, I should do it. What? One of my mom friends told you that? Because you pretend to bully me once. You should prepare to keep even. That's what everyone told me. Oh, those guys? Just pretending to listen to me and all along they were double crossing me. Huh, how can I put it? Hilarious, isn't it? What's so funny? You've got to be kidding me. You're the one who did this to me. You're the one who thinks it's okay to do this to people. Back at ya. How many people have you harassed in your life? Not only do you get your peers to bully them, but you also force them to give you money. Someone does that to you and you're suddenly the victim. That's just too convenient, don't you think? No, not in the slightest. I didn't mean to do that. It was just a bit much. I was just a little stressed. I got a lot on my plate. Huh? Just because you're stressed doesn't mean it's okay to harass others though, does it? And then you call yourself the boss and do whatever you want. It's nothing short of ludicrous. Shut up! No matter what I say, what you did, you put my family on the street. How can you act like the hero after what you've done? Well, I'm not trying to be the hero of justice now, am I? And don't you think you're taking the story a little too far? Think about it. All I did was stop a little business to business transaction. Why do you think you're on the street? Why? Should I be put on the street? And you're thinking we'll be on that. Bitch. You said the company would go bankrupt from losing your business. That's what you said. Well, I still think there's a chance for a comeback. If we can manage to get a large contract after this one is terminated, the company will continue to thrive. Let's hope your husband manages to do his best. You've got some nerve. Don't talk to me like I'm some sort of nobody. Anyway, if my husband's company goes bankrupt, it's all your fault. I'm suing you. You say the funniest things. Now, what exactly am I guilty of? You obstruct a business against my company. This should not be allowed to happen. Huh? Obstruction of business? You can't really think anyone would call it obstruction of business when the company freely stops doing business with each other. What? That's just what one mother said. This is a matter of both parties agreeing to terminate a contract. That's all. Don't go around calling me a business obstructist for something like that. If you lose a business partner, you can just make a new one. I'm not sure how long you can contact a person after the deal has been terminated. Shut up! My husband still has to keep his company going. So if it goes south, I'm going to take as much of your money as I can to keep your business from running. Even if you could sue for obstruction of business, there's no way to get enough money to run the business. You used to make fun of me for only having a high school education, but you're the one who doesn't know anything about the world. You have a mind of a high school graduate. What did you say to me? You think you're better than me. Seems that way, doesn't it? Don't be an idiot forever. Since you're his wife, it's also your company too. 
Why don't you just work hard and restore the company? Well, I mean, I didn't say that. I don't know what to do. There's no way to recover from this. I guess you'll just have to give up, don't you? I think you're going to have to let your husband run the business alone and you can pick up a part-time job or something. That way you can protect your livelihood, right? What are you talking about that? I can't do that. I'm the boss, mama. The boss mama doesn't work as a cashier at the supermarket. Like hell, why would I do that? I would be the laughing stock of the other mothers. I don't care if you're a cashier at a supermarket. You don't have to be a cashier in a supermarket. You know, I think there are many jobs you can do that don't require you to be seen. Isn't that great? Absolutely not. First of all, I'm the president's wife. You must have me mistaken. I'm never going to work. Is that so? Okay, then that's fine. If your husband's company goes bankrupt, I'm sure you'll end up divorced. Divorced? What are you talking about? That's crazy. Well, it's obvious. If your husband's company is in trouble and you don't want to help him at all, do you really think he could stay married to a person like that? He would never. We have a son together. There's no way he could ever divorce me for the sake of our son. You shouldn't think you're safe because of that. People have been divorced for less, right? But you have to look at it carefully or you'll regret it. You need to shut up. This is ridiculous. There's no way that I deserve this. You have the power to change this. There are many ways to reopen a contract, aren't there? I'm so sorry. I have no intention of reopening the contract, so whatever happens to your husband's company in the future, I honestly don't care. Don't get sassy with me. You've been a Patreon of my husband's company for a long time. Well, yes, we were, but I didn't really like the company because of all this mess. Don't you dare say that now. If this happens, I will contact all of the other mothers to force you into not canceling the contract. If you get pressured enough, you will be inclined to reopen the contract. I just know it. Oh, I'm sorry, but I don't think that strategy will work. I actually have the support of the other mothers, unlike you, remember? What do you mean support? You think you're tough calling yourself the boss mama, ordering around and abusing all the other mothers. It looks like, ah, uh, you see, I'm the one who came to stop you, so if I had to pick a winning side, I would pick mine. No, that's not possible. That means no one is on my side. That's exactly right. Now give it up. No, never. Why should I have to go through this? You're being unreasonable. Isabella, look. You're the type of person who says it's not her fault until the very end. You harassed people without consequence, and now your husband's biggest contract was canceled. Your husband learned you were the cause, and then he scolded you. You don't know how to let stuff go. So your husband ran out of patience and divorced you. After the divorce, the custody for your son was awarded to your husband. And, and he has to figure out how to raise a son himself and keep the company afloat. Now, since you've been divorced, you've been living alone in a small apartment and working part-time as a cashier. The other moms then thank me for ridding them of you from their lives. Now, I'm struggling with all the growth of my company. Hey, Harper. Have you heard anything about the upcoming trip yet? You haven't told me anything about it. Huh? It's a trip with four of my mother's friends. I don't know them too well, but normally I don't invite anyone to come with me. Are you saying that we aren't close enough? I'm not saying that. You and I were in the same elementary class, but we didn't have much contact with each other. Are you still going to invite me? That's not... Luna, would you like to go on the trip? Well, I would need to know the plan first. I'm a true traveler. I'm a true traveler. I'm not interested in trips with janky plans. Well, I didn't invite you to begin with. You don't have to come if you don't want to. 
Just tell me the plan. We're all thinking of staying at a bed and breakfast. A bed and breakfast? Aren't bed and breakfasts cheap and dirty? I think I'll pass. Ah, no worries. If you ever want to change to a better plan, just let me know. Yeah, sure. I live with my husband and son. Since my son started elementary school, I was planning to go on a trip with some of my other mothers. However, Luna, another mother with a child in the same class as mine, heard about the trip. I was relieved to hear that she didn't want to come on the trip, as we're not particularly close. Harper, is it you? That your brother owns a B&B? Is that where y'all are going to be staying next? As a matter of fact, it is. The B&B is run by my brother and his wife. They'll give us a room, so we decided to go there. Why didn't you say that at first? I want to come. Huh? Because you said you don't like B&Bs, you said they were cheap and dirty. Yeah, but if it's owned by relatives? So I'm sure it won't be like that. I'm looking forward to the trip. Luna, I'm preparing for the payment for the trip. When will you send me your half? What? What do you mean my half? The fee for the room at the B&B for the trip. The B&B is run by your brother, right? I thought... I thought the room would be free, right? No, the room isn't free. We have to pay for the room. They're just providing food. Even if we are siblings, I still have to pay like a normal customer. What? That's cheap. No, you're the one being cheap, wanting to go for free. I think you're the stingy one. Well, I thought it was free. I shouldn't have said I was going. Look, I will say it again. I never asked you to come. Yet you invited yourself. Now you don't want to come? Your message ruined my mood. What? You act like it's my fault. Like this was your plan all along. I believe I'm not the problem. Actually, I'm sure the other parents will agree with me. The one who is complaining here is you. You forced me to invite you. And now, you're complaining. You're making it sound as if I'm the selfish one. You went through all this trouble and spent all this money but I'm sure you all don't want to stay at the B&B. Such a drama queen. That's right. You should pay for it. It's going straight to your brother's pocket. So it's okay, right? What? How can that be okay? We're both dependent adults. Blood doesn't matter with business. You're so hard-headed. You're going to drive people away with that attitude. Honestly, this is none of your business. If you don't want to go, I'll just cancel it. Just tell me like an adult. And in the end, you didn't contact me to cancel the trip. Here we are the day of the trip and no payment from you. Luna, where are you? Oh, hi Harper, I just checked in. What? What do you mean? You just checked in? I'm in front of the B&B. The B&B? Oh no. I'm sorry, I forgot to tell you. I decided we're not going to stay at the B&B anymore. Huh? What do you mean? You're not staying here? You said you just checked in, right? Yeah, I checked in, but to this highly recommended spa hotel. What? A spa hotel? Yes, I'm already in my relaxing room. I feel more at home in spa hotels. Well, that can't be right. See, I already made you a reservation at the B&B. Please cancel that one today. Cancel? You know, you'll have to pay for it full. 100% of the cancellation fee, right? Cancellation fee? Why would I pay that? I'm not staying there. It's not an odd thing to do. I've already prepared enough food for everyone. Well, I didn't know about that. So it looks like you'll have to pay for it. Like hell. Why me? The person who made the reservation has to pay the cancellation fee. Oh yeah, that's right. Do you mean for the total number of people or just for the mothers? Total number of people. Oh my, you poor thing. Well, I wasn't informed at all. That's a lot of food that's going to waste. What do you mean by that? For this trip, I told everyone to book this spa hotel and not the B&B. You did what? I'm sure everyone wanted to stay at a spa instead of a dinky little B&B anyways. So we're all here at the hotel. You mean to tell me that? Oh, it seems like I lost you there. See, it looks like you're not listening. You will catch on eventually. What are you saying? 
Everyone is already here at the B and B. Huh? No, they're not. I told everyone to book the hotel. Look, I'm the one who originally planned everything. You came in last minute and tried to change the whole plan. There is no way anyone would do that. So no one is coming to this hotel. That's right. No one is coming. Why not? I'm better than a B and B. I'm sure you would rather be in a hotel than a B and B. So the plan was to stay at my brother's luxury B and B called Guess and Villa. What? Guess and Villa? Wait, your brother's B and B is the famous B and B Guess and Villa? Yes, it's rather popular these days because of the food. But it's so hard to get a reservation, isn't it? At the time, my brother made me a special offer, and made some rooms available for us. Why didn't you tell me? Did you forget again? You said you didn't want to stay at a B and B, remember? But I didn't know it was going to be a luxury B and B. I didn't know it was an exclusive offer. Well, you were trying to stay for free. I didn't want you to come anyways, so it works out. Hey, wait a minute. I'll pay for it. Can I stay there? Are you insane? You're hours away. It's a completely different direction. There's no way I can make it now. It's not a problem. I want to come. Are you a child? If you were an adult, you wouldn't have been this selfish. You act like a toddler, always wanting these shiny toys. It's because I'm always this way to stay here. I will be bored here all alone. It's not that boring. You forgot something more important, didn't you? What's so important? You were gonna stay in the B and B with the other moms besides me, right? Yeah, that's right. I just didn't think it would be such a nice B and B. So, if everyone else is over here, you're canceling your stay at the hotel, right? Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Then I will have to pay the 100% cancellation fee, right? Right. You can tell everyone I'm paying the cancellation fee. Oh, so you're not a cheapskate? You're just an idiot. You said the person who makes the reservation has to pay the fee. You just said it right now. I can't afford to pay for everyone's stay at this hotel. Please have some common sense. I think it's rather strange to change your hotel on a random whim, don't you think? You can't just get everyone to come over here. Why should I? You changed our trip plans without telling me. I have no obligation to help you. I apologize for that. It's not just me you need to apologize to. This could have put my brother and his wife in a bind as well. This is a little unforgivable. Don't say that. Please, are you supposed to be my friend? Oh, I don't know. I have no idea why you think we're friends. That is completely wrong. Seriously, I can't pay that type of money. Please convince them. Please help me. And Luna was charged the cancellation fee for the other mothers on that trip who made the reservation. She was in tears, holding her credit card. Her husband found out about the incident from reading the credit card statement, and he banned her from all future trips and lunches. Luna has become a homebody and doesn't like to talk to anyone, even if you see her occasionally. Luna is very quiet and acts different.